Brighton nil, Manchester United two, and the United Twins need to speak about it. Hey, I'm, I'm feeling mash up like the New York Knicks right now. Those who have been watching in the NBA playoffs know what I'm talking about. Final Premier League game of the season, ladies and gentlemen, and it almost feels like a long time coming because we've been in somewhat of a time loop where performances have not only regressed, but they felt repetitive. They've yeah. been so repetitive. Injuries have been a part of that. <sighs> Lack of adjusting to those situations, opposition and so forth. I think, as we all have said before, the hard work should begin now. Don't wait for the FA Cup final. Because... Look, <sighs> The most frustrating thing we have all observed as a fan base is watching the previous hierarchies at Manchester United fall behind and make rash decisions because of a lack of forward planning and a lack of having an ideology. Yeah. How you want to play. What kind of players you believe would suit the environment you want to form and, and the style of play you're looking to execute after scouting. Those aren't all going to be achieved in one summer. But you set the foundations of those crucial principles so that whoever steps foot in this institution or even considers to can quickly grasp the characteristics of what is being built here and can evaluate themselves on whether they want to be a part of that. CM, you, you mentioned a lot of good things. Um, when I was watching today's game, I did a lot of thinking. We spoke about Rasmus Hoyle in the last time out and how his criticism criticism has been unfair. Somewhat, sorry. He shows you once again the ability and potential he possesses given the time to develop in the right situation. Clearly, when he is provided with a space to drive into, he can create space with his deceptive agility and quite an effective right foot also. That's for another day, however. The biggest concern has been the number of games we've been visually outplayed by our opponents. I'm not going to say that there's a lack of a game plan anymore. I feel like that ideology has played out. But I will say that our playing style has been ineffective and ultimately there are factors all around the first team that has led to those findings. But you will not and cannot be a top side if how you play isn't efficient to who you are as a coach and the profile of the players that are available at your disposal. How about we look ahead to the cup final ever so slightly. Six days away, Manchester City secured their fourth Premier League title in a row and no doubt about it will be highly motivated to win back-to-back -back FA Cup finals, my goodness. Again, it will be very telling how our players approach this game because we do have Leach and Martinez back. Varane came off the bench today, Marcus Rashford also. Even though depending on who you talk to, he may not be that much of a deciding factor based upon the form shown all season long. But he still is an attacking option we miss big time. Amajalo has played himself into contention yeah. over the last two few weeks too. So it will be interesting to see how we approach this one-off affair. Very important one. Yeah. Pressure will yeah. be high on Eric Ten Hag to make the right decisions, not to mention the fact that it will be this squad's final opportunity to secure some sort of European football. I know, and then Europe, Europa League, to be exact, we missed out on Conference League qualification today. So this is the opportunity to get into the Europa League, which would essentially knock Newcastle out of Europe and bring Chelsea down to the Conference League. So I know, I know we would all want to win the FA. We all want to win the FA Cup final. You know, uh, this is not me insinuating anything. But if you were asked the question a few games ago, would it be beneficial not to have the extra Thursday game next season, for example? What would be your conclusion? What would be your answer? Let us know in the comments.
eighth spot in the league. The worst finish in a Premier League campaign for Manchester United. Eric recognised that it wasn't good enough at all. We know. We understand the circumstances and change on the way. But the most damning stat which perfectly describes where we have been on this journey, this tumultuous journey. In our last 10 Premier League seasons... Five of those have been finished outside of the top four. Five inside of the top four. Where ultimately, even in the seasons where we finished second, those teams in 17, 18, 2021 were nowhere, nowhere near title contention. Finishing 19 points and and 12 points behind, I believe. The eventual champions... Inconsistency has always been the main theme CM I know has spoken about on any platform because that is how you build with consistency. How we get it, that is going to have to be something that we observe over time. As fans, we can only give an outsider's opinion Unless you've got inside info. If you have that intel, message me or email me at cm22ert.co.co. No, cm22ert.gmail.com. That's the one. I need, I need some insider info as well, you ladies and gentlemen. So if you know, you know. At the end of the day, where do you find consistency when it feels like you've been running around in circles for... Over a decade now. Okay, so end of this, a few housekeeping stuff to get out of the way. First and foremost, shout out to everybody that has supported over the course of this season. We had a a little break in between, but we've come back and we feel like we've come back strong and we're looking to ride that momentum into the summer for that new football season. Obviously, we have little segments in, in the United Teams that, that we like to do. Question of the day. And allowing you guys to have your say as well. 22's view. And, and just different things like that. That trope. That, those are methods that we have kind of brainstormed and come up with. To try and differentiate. To make these episodes more entertaining. And we're just finding different ways we're trying to find different ways of integrating those features for next season most importantly so that we can continue to go strong and provide you guys with you know opportunity to have fun in between these episodes which isn't always the case if you're a Manchester United fan at least Mm -hmm. so on to the FA Cup final next week I've got a light announcement of course Saturday big big game FA Cup final you can join me over here for a watch along. It's Come been on. about five months since I've been one. I think the last one was when we lost to Newcastle 1 0. So, long, long time. It's the last time it was near enough the beginning of the season where we've seen some Champions League games over here, but I haven't done a watch along in a long time. And it's always enjoyable, a different experience. With you guys at 22s joining in and, and having your say on the game in real time. So make sure you join me over here on CM22 ENT for the FA Cup final. Manchester City versus Manchester United. Watch along. Oh, that's going to be a good one. Cappy, make sure you're watching as well. You know, Don't I will be flaking now. We'll be Don't there. Be flaking. We'll be there. Um, Make sure you go and follow me over on Twitch, CM22ENT. Haven't been as active as I would have wanted to be during the, well, especially since the new year. But uh, I'm going to try and be a little more active, playing different kinds of games. Just switching it up a little bit, having fun, reacting to a few videos. Just an opportunity for us to entertain ourselves and, and have some fun over there on Twitch. So make sure you go and follow, link in the description the socials, make sure you go and follow CM22ENT on X, formerly known as Twitter, and TikTok, where we're most active on those two social media platforms. Um, yeah, thank you for the support once again. I can hardly speak. I'm literally shattered right now. I'm so shattered. And we, we, I've got to go and um, 
edit this video so we might as well wrap it up quickly <laughs> Kathy make sure you a like on the video subscribe if you're new share it to your friends and friend me <sighs> until the next time until the final game of the season final game of the season for real by the way FA Cup final we'll see you lot in a bit